Uh, it's uh, pickups time again. I, uh, it's, it's funny to think that I recorded my first... Uh, I, I'm, I'm back from holiday, people. So my first video after the holiday was filmed at um, Mark's place. Uh, which is something that we sort of had intended to do for a while already. Uh, and I realized that I'd never really done a video, a co-op video with Mark uh, before. So uh, that was fun. I, I, I found some things for him and I handed them to him yesterday. Stuff I found um, uh, during my holiday. I, I went uh, to a number of thrift stores. I, I made a list of the thrift stores that I wanted to visit. And uh, I think there's about 20 of them. Uh, but there's nothing there. The place where I went, uh, it's like people uh, have not yet decided to bring their games to a thrift store there. Or to to sell them at all. I, 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 I don't know. I did find a couple of... Um, no, I found one store that sold used games, so... Uh, and, and, and I picked some stuff up. So this video is all about stuff that I picked up during my holiday and uh... Oh and uh, let's start with something that I picked up before. Um, one of the things that I've been doing is, is I've been taking a closer look at uh, fighting games. Uh, and uh, I'd never, I've never played fighting games, uh, and I was always sort of afraid that I'd have to, like, learn the controls. And and uh, the problem is that uh, not so much learning the controls, but when you put the game down for a while, you have to, you know, get back into uh, into that. And I'm afraid always that I'm gonna that I'm gonna forget. So, uh, but I I started watching some videos. Uh, of a guy, I'll I'll put his link somewhere because I I can't really pronounce his name, uh, and he was really specific about what goes on in these games. You know, he sort of comments on how people play. He even coaches people, and I sort of got interested. And I even watched some of the Evo footage. You know, where they where they do the uh, um, like the world champion fighting game thing, uh, which is. Uh, really interesting, and I thought, why not get into fighting games? Now, um, the first thing I did, I think, was I bought Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4 Ultra on Steam. Now, that may not be, like, the best example of the Street Fighter game, I know, but it has a good training option, which is, uh, you know, is what I thought was good enough. And it's, I think it's even what they use on, on, on Evo. So, um, so I got that. Um, I even got it at a discount because uh, Steam had a very nice, uh, I think I got it for a tenner or something and, and then, uh, so I thought well let's just do that and I played it with the 360 controller which was nice, but then uh, I'd already looked at some fight sticks, I don't have a fight stick, and then right at that moment um, Matt, Matthew Hartley, came up on Facebook saying that he wanted to uh, sell his. If anyone was interested, uh, they could uh, contact him. And I and I was interested, and still am, and I got it. So I, this is a PS, PS3 clickety-click um, fight stick. A clickety-click fight stick. Uh, and... Um, it works on uh, it's a PS3 thing, so uh, and I use it on the PC, so I have to do some driver things, and even under Windows 10, I've got it running. So it's very nice, uh, very nice stick. Uh, uh, it's the only one that I have experience with, so uh, you know. But it's nice and heavy. It doesn't it doesn't have any uh, any stickers on it or anything. Uh, it's uh, I really like it. Uh, and it's my first experience, and I think it's a good one. So, um, uh, and I've been using it. I, I got it just before I went on holiday, so I haven't had much time. Uh, but I've been playing around, you know, configuring it, and I've upgraded to Windows 10 now, so I, I needed to do it again. Uh, but it, it, it's working. Nice. And of course, I had to get uh, Street Fighter 4 uh, on uh, PS3. Uh, 
And this is not the Ultra version, this is just Street Fighter 4. I haven't even... Yeah, I have played this on the PS3 by now. It's even in there, because I don't... I don't have it in here. And uh, playing with the controller is, is, you know, it's different, but it, basically it's the same. And I'm thinking, because I've only played with Ryu now, uh, that uh, the controls that I'm learning are only for him. And when I switch to another character, I'm going to have to do that again. So uh, I'm, I'm sticking with my uh, with my first choice there for a minute. Um, so that is fighting games. Then I went on holiday and I, I, I went to this place. I think it's called Tweak. Yeah, it was Tweak. And uh, one of the reasons that I went there is because they had used games. Yeah. And... Um, uh, now the, and you know, sometimes stores have these deals where, where you can, um, uh, like, uh, uh, the third game is free, right? So I, I walked up to the counter, I didn't know they had this offer, and, and these are the games that I, uh, that I got. No, I, I have to say that these are the games that I got. I got, oh fuck. I got, uh, what, 13 on Xbox. I had this on PS2, but uh, I wanted it again. Um, and um, I got Star Ocean, the, 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 the Last Hope, um, by Square Enix. And I think I have this game on a different platform. I'm not sure which one, though. But uh, And then this game was 99 cents. So... And I came up to the counter and he said, well, you know, the third game is free. So something clicked in my mind and and thought, well, then, you know, which game is going to be free then? And I sort of decided in my mind that it was going to be the game that I that I took out of the, uh, you know, took off the shelf last, which was this, uh, Forza Horizon, which I've played on Xbox One. Uh, not my own, but uh, Mark's, uh, I, and I really like, so I picked this up. And then, of course, what happened is that the 99 cent game uh, was the free one, and I ended up paying a lot of money for these two. So, uh, but, you know, uh, whatever. I, I hadn't bought anything uh, leading up to that moment, and I thought, well, you know what the hell, I'm just going to do that. So I did. So that's uh, two more games for my uh, Xbox 360 collection. Which is now up to five or something. <laughs> um, and then... Oh, this is actually the reason... Oh, the reason why I went there in the first place is because they had Fable 3. I saw on their website that they had Fable 3 for like uh, two or three bucks. And I thought, uh, let's go to the store and pick it up. And when I got there, he uh, he explained that there was some like uh, uh, inventory problems, and he couldn't uh, uh, he couldn't sell me the games because he didn't have he didn't have them. So I had another browse around the store, and I picked up three more games. This time, knowing uh, that the third game was going to be free, so I I bought Forza Motorsport Four, and I haven't even tried this one, so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But I just got home yesterday. I picked up Halo Four. Uh, I have a lot of Halo games, but none of them on 360. I, I have Halo games on the original Xbox and now on 360. So I'm not a big Halo fan, but I have a lot of Halo games for some reason. Uh, and then uh, I got this one. I've been looking for Nier, Nier uh, for a long time uh, on PS3. And there it was, another Square Enix game. I haven't played this one either yet, but uh, it's supposed to be pretty good. And I'm I'm anxious to see the difference of, um, it, it looks very interesting. Uh, but I, but I wonder what the difference is on uh, uh, on PS3, and then compared to this one, on 360. The voracious black scrawled plague. Ah, I've read this before. Experience a chilling tale of bloodshed and betrayal. With shocking revelations at every turn. Every turn. Wow. So then, uh, I didn't have, you know, I, I had a lot of games, but I didn't have Fable 3, damn it. So, um, I, I can't even remember where I, 
I, I think I got this before I went on holiday, but I got Fable... No. I can't remember, but I got Fable 3, so now I have Fable 1 on Xbox, original Xbox, I have Fable 2 and 3 now on uh, Xbox 360, uh, and then I read online that there's a, a collection, there's a Fable collection, Fable Anniversary, which has all three versions for the 360 sitting in my hand right here, and sealed. I'm not so big on sealed games, but uh, I, I, I cannot remember seeing in the description that this was sealed, so I, I just picked it up and uh, and I and I you know I had it sent to my address and when I got home it was there and it was sealed. So uh, I now have Fable One, Two, and Three on the 360, and I'm playing Fable One on the on the original Xbox. I've played Fable Two now on uh, the Xbox 360, which is uh, fairly impressive. I liked it. Uh, then I was um, peer pressured into uh, buying uh, a game for the Wii. Uh, f yeah, well the Wii is a good system. Um, and uh, well the Wii actually... Um, uh, the Wii... It was Mark's wife, Lactobacillus' wife, who said, I'm playing Zelda Twilight Princess, um, and you should too, because uh, you should... She said, you should take three or four days off and play nothing but that. Uh, and, uh, of course, that sounds very enticing, And uh, uh, but I'm afraid that I... I I'm probably not going to... I don't have so many holidays, the holiday days uh, available to do that. Um, but I hadn't seen... I know, of course, of Twilight Princess, but I sort of... You know, there's so many Zelda games. I'm sorry if you're a Zelda fan. Um, that I, I sort of, you know, sort of overlooked this. I, I, but now I have it. I, and I've seen it. I, I, I saw it. I saw some gameplay yesterday, and it looks very interesting. It's a typical Zelda game with all the Zelda sounds and all the Zelda rupee things. Uh, but I, I'm glad to have this. But the funny thing is that at the you know that moment that I go online on eBay and I look for a game that I want and I always go for like the lowest price that that'll give me sort of you know the uh, the best quality uh, and and as someone I can sort of trust so I found this for 12 euros which is a good deal for this game and what do you know it's e stocks again e stocks guys. They don't have much uh, on stock, but every time I, you know, I've, I've bought so many games from them, and they're good quality. Sometimes the cases are broken, but this is perfect. They're good quality games. They ship fast, and they're affordable. E stocks. Don't forget about that. Then I got some games for my 3DS. Yes, I have a 3DS, and I played it, uh, but I just don't have many games for it. So I thought, let's. Um, well, I already had this one, so I'm not going to show that. But I got uh, Splinter Cell 3D. I, I, I don't know how many Splinter Cell games I have, um, but I didn't have the 3D uh, one, so I'm uh, I'm actually try this out. And I got um, Boulder Dash. Boulder Dash for the 3DS. I've been playing this, and this is a lot of fun. It's a puzzle game. It's Boulder Dash. You, know, you, you probably know Boulder Dash, but uh, this is a fun game, and I, I'm having fun with this. And then I, I, I was in this, uh, oh, uh, this, in this thrift store, I think, yeah, I picked this up uh, from that store. Um, <sighs> same store, I, 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 I walk in there uh, and I can't, uh, you know, I, I have to pay cash. Uh, no, no credit cards, no uh, debit cards or whatever. So... I have to leave the store. I I found some stuff. I I leave it at the uh, at the counter, and then uh, I come outside, and my wife calls me and asks me, you know, where where am I? Because we're going to the movies, and I I sort of forgot about time. So so I've got the guy behind the counter keeping my stuff. I'm supposed to go get cash money for him. Uh, I said I'll be right back, but I I I wasn't. So I just left. I went to the movies. We went to see Inside Out, a Pixar movie. Watch it. It's great. 
Um, and then, you know, afterwards on the way home, I, I said, oh, you know, we can go past the, um, the thrift store again. And lo and behold, the guy still had uh, my stuff sitting there. So he kept it for me. Uh, and I, I got to get it, you know, at the, at the price that we said. So I, I got Final Fantasy, the movie, which I'd never seen before. It has nothing to do with the games, but uh, obviously it's, it's, you know, it's somehow related. It, it, the box has all kinds of PlayStation 2 uh, logos on it. And I think I already have the movie in one of my Final Fantasy uh, boxes, but I just never took the time to watch it. But I've seen it and I like it. It's a science fiction uh, animated story. The story at the end, you know, could have been better, but, you know, it's Donald Sutherland and uh, it's just some pretty good ac uh, actors in there. I liked it. I watched it twice, even. <sighs> and then... <coughs> I've been wanting to get a, a gigabyte Ethernet switch uh, for in the home, uh, and I found one for eight bucks. 3Com Internet switch, yay! I thought, and it's uh, it's a G model, the 2126G, and I thought, okay, you know, it has a lot of ports, but you know, if it's uh, and I, and I looked sort of at the display, and I and I saw, oh, you know, a thousand megs, that's great. Um, uh, not that my internet connection is that fast, but the you know uh, the PC and the and the network accessible storage device they're all gigabyte um, uh, Ethernet ports. But then I really I I got home and it took a real close look and it turned out that only the uplink ports are gigabyte ports. So now I have a very nice 3Com uh, gigabyte switch, but it has only uh, a thousand meg uh, uplink ports. So it's it's a layer two switch, still good. So I still think I'm going to use it, but it's not what I wanted it to be. But you know what, eight bucks, I don't really care. Um, I got a box. Oh man, with the computers that I got for Mark, um, which you can see in his video, I got myself a Commodore 64. It was part of the set, and I just picked it up. I'm not going to show it, but I did get this for seven bucks. I got a a versus fighting pad. For the um, uh, for the PS3 and hear that it's a micro switched uh, stick and it has like six buttons and uh, so and it's wired so I thought I'd pick this up I'm pretty happy with it seven bucks um, a Commodore 64 uh, I got a, a a quick shot clickety click. Quick shot, I, I, I mailed Chris, or I text uh, um, Novabug, because it had a CPC 464 setting on it, on the back, and it's a pretty good stick, so I decided to keep that. Sorry, Mark. Um, so there's a Commodore 64 in here, no big deal, but I did get, <laughs> I did get these guys. Oh, let's, let me uh, take off the sticker here. I, you know, I've been playing the stick of truth, so... I I couldn't resist. 50 cents. Cartman. And who is this? Is this Carl or something? I, I don't even know. It's not Kenny, because Kenny is the one with the with the hoodie. So uh, I got these guys. Isn't this funny? I thought this was funny. <laughs> so I, I got a Commodore 64 in here, uh, but I'm not going to show that. It, it did come uh, with a dust cover. Yay! So, anyway guys, that's my pickups video. Uh, the first one after the... Um, uh, after the holiday, if you're wondering about the two camera setup, um, I, I want to tell you that I found a camera and I want to tell you that I took it to the lost and found department and that they allowed me to take it home um, uh, and in case the owners uh, uh, didn't turn up, it would be mine after a year. Uh, I'd love to tell you that that happened. Um, uh, but it sort of didn't because after a couple of days the owners actually turned up uh, and contacted me and they were very happy that someone had found their camera and went to the lost, lost and found department <coughs> which you know it was a it was a Nikon Coolpix uh, P520 I believe it's a, it's an okay camera uh, I just found it lying there in the street so I picked it up uh, and I sat there for about 45 minutes waiting for a guy to 
to show up, you know, looking like, oh, where's my camera? Do you find, have you found my camera? And I, you know, I, I, I couldn't remember. I can remember seeing a guy sitting on that bench and I figured it was him that lost the camera, but I didn't really remember what he looked like. So after a while, um, you know, I, I started looking at people's faces thinking, you know, you could be it and you could be it. And uh, this is particular guy that remembers that you could be it as well. I don't know. So I went home after like an hour of sitting there, nobody showed up. I took the camera to the lost and found thing. They said, you know, you can either leave it here or you can take it with you. So I thought, well, let's take it with me because, um, uh, you know, if, if the owner doesn't show up, uh, I'll have a camera for free. Um, but what I did, you know, of course, I, I looked in the bag to see if there's an address there or anything, uh, um, but there was nothing there. Um, I took the camera with me, uh, left my information at the lost and found department, of course. And... I of course I start flipping through the photos because I was kind of curious and I see the guy I see the guy in the photos that was standing right next to me in the street I remember seeing him so I thought well you must have been the owner of the camera you were standing right next to me while I was holding your camera and either you didn't see me or you were afraid to say anything so I just didn't get it you know I and I after seeing the photos, I, 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 I really wanted to give it back, but I was also hoping for the chance, you know, that I might actually keep it. But when they called in the end, uh, they were so happy that they, you know, they could have their camera back and their pictures. I think there were 700 pictures on there or something. So, um, so I gave it. So I wanted to tell you, I got a new camera and I had ideas in my head. Oh, I'm going to do uh, like a, a two camera setup uh, like I'm doing now. Uh, but uh, this is my old camera. So... It's, uh, it's sort of a, uh, this is going to be hard to edit. Uh, it's just an experiment, you know, I just uh, wanted to see how it turns out. So if you like it, you know, let me know. If you hate it, uh, then uh, let me know, but be gentle, okay? Um, so I'm signing off, letting you go. I'm back. I'm going to do videos. I've installed Windows 10, so I'm going to do uh, some stuff on there. Uh, with the uh, uh, Corona 64 programming, uh, which I'm really, uh, really getting into, so I'm, uh, I'm having a lot of fun. See you guys next time.